Hey everyone, I hope people are well. I haven't spoken to a few people for a while. I've been really busy with work, but also struggling a little bit with my simulator, um, getting CTDs. Um, now, <coughs> the main error I've been getting is a DXGI error, device removed error, which basically means Windows thinks that your device has stopped working, even though it hasn't. Um, it's a common error that's um, existent with DirectX 12 and moving it back to DirectX 11 solves the problem but ultimately I don't want to be on Direct DirectX 11 I get much better performance off DirectX 12 so I've been stuck in a bit of a rut um, so I've been tinkering a little bit and um, I have found a few things what you can do but fix the error um, and touch wood so far for the last three days I've been able to do short and longer flights with no errors whatsoever on my system so I thought it'd be useful to share exactly what I did um, to fix the error so without further ado let's just jump into a few things now you're going to need to look at your Nvidia control panel first of all um, then the second part really is a quick entry that you need to make to your registry which I'll help you with um, a reboot of your PC and so far for me as I say um, fingers crossed I've had no problem so so let's just jump into it right so the first part of the task is to go into global settings and make sure any anti-aliasing is switched off by default it's on um, now you've got anti-aliasing controls within the simulator which manages for you Secondly, over to the program settings, which is which is more specific to your program. Make sure Microsoft Flight Simulator is selected, and again, make sure that anything to do with anti-aliasing is switched off all the way through. Any mention of anti-aliasing is off. Once that's done, you click Apply, and then you can close out of this part. The second part to do is registry editing so to load the registry you just uh, hit the windows key and r you type in reg edit now you do this at your own risk but for me i've had no problems whatsoever now what you're going to do is navigate to the point at the top of the video here which is computer if i bring this across computer H key local machine system current control set control graphics drivers and I will copy that and pop that in the description to the video for you now once you're here you click on the folder for graphics drivers and this will come up but what you won't have is TDR level so this element here so all you're going to do is right click click new and down to 32-bit even if your system is 64-bit you put D word 32-bit value select and within that box you type capital D then uh, sorry capital T then DR then capital L E V E L with no spaces whatsoever I'm just going to delete the new value I've just created and in here you make sure it's hexadecimal zero click OK. Once you're done you can exit out the registry editor, reboot your PC and away you go. Now if you're still getting this error there's also a connection to GeForce Experience. So my advice is you stop that running and that's really easy to do. I don't run this because it eats my frames massively but right click on the GeForce Experience in the taskbar um, select run as administrator go to the general tab and then in-game overlay and then um, switch it off I don't need to do that because I'm not running that the last part really to do is just check your RAM um, you can um, Google check in RAM it's really quite simple I didn't need to do it um, as it fixed um, my problem but also making sure that your graphics card drivers are up to date and, and I guess um, people know how to do that it's worked for me I was dogged absolutely dogged with errors um, I couldn't complete a flight um, I 
I'm now back on DirectX 12 um, jumping into my options back on DirectX 12 and I've had no problems whatsoever so if you've got this issue and you've been struggling and you've not found a solution give this a go and let me know in the comments if, it, if, if you've had this problem and whether it's if it's worked for you or not but hopefully it has I like to share things um, you know whenever I get a problem the first thing I do is go to YouTube and search it and fingers crossed there's a solution that comes up but on this one there wasn't a solution so if you've got this problem fingers crossed this works for you and uh, gets your problem all sorted as I say let me know in the comments if you've had the problem and, and if this worked for you but apart from that, um, I shall wish you good luck and see you soon on the next video. Take care.